Hello, Senior Stoner fans. It's the real Senior Stoner back at you for your Honey Badger with Glass Bubbler Diamond Dab of the Day. Hello, everybody. Today is Saturday. Thank you. Thank you from the bottom of my heart. Thank you from the tip of my toes to the top of my head. I made it. 20,000 subscribers. Each and every one of you, I saw you all come. It's incredibly exciting for me. Hopefully for many of you too. I want to thank each one of you for hitting that subscribe button. For telling your friends and having them hit the subscribe button. It's been so important to my life. Frankly, so important to me. Let's get started with today's topic. I picked it exclusively for today. Because without it, I wouldn't be here. Let's get started. Persistence. Talent. Genius. Education all mean zero when persistence is lacking. What does true determination really look like? You know, in any discussion of the attributes of successful people, determination and persistence is always at the top. It's the most important factor in success. Major success seldom comes easily or without a great deal of effort. In my case, I said I saw every one, and I'm not kidding, of those subscribers, of you. Often, the only difference between the people that succeed at what they want to do and those that don't is the ability to keep going long after the rest of the people have dropped out. It's relatively easy. Think about it. To persist when things are going well and we see progress. But highly persistent people have found ways to keep going despite major setbacks and the lack of evidence that they're moving closer towards their goal. They just keep on trucking. So, some of the things that these people have in common that keeps them going long after people that or other people would give up is what we need to talk about. What makes them so determined? What can we do to become that determined? Well, we have to have an all-consuming vision. My vision was hitting 20,000 subscribers. Now it's 100,000. So persistent people have a goal or vision in mind that motivates and drives them. They're often dreamers and visionaries who see their lives as having a higher purpose than simply making money. These people's vision is deeply ingrained and they focus on it constantly and with great emotion and energy. They often think of this vision first thing when they wake up and last thing before they go to bed. Senior stoner thinks senior stoner first thing when I wake up and last thing when I go to bed. Reaching the goal becomes the focal point of the person's life and they devote a major portion of their energies and time towards reaching it. I had the phone in my hand this morning as it crossed over to 20,001. Burning desire is another word for it. Entrepreneurs, motivational speakers really have it. They say, if you really want to do something, you'll find a way. If you don't, you'll find an excuse. Persistent people want it bad, really bad and they never look for an excuse or a way out. What keeps highly persistent people going is their powerful level of desire. Repeated failures, dead ends, and periods when it seems like no progress is being made often come before any major breakthrough happens. Persistent people have the inner energy and intensity to keep them motivated and going through those tough times. The inner confidence, people who overcome the odds and achieve greatly are often described as marching to the beat of their own drummer. It's been my entire life. They know what they want and are seldom swayed by the opinion of the masses. Having a highly developed sense of who we are allows people like this to continue on without being greatly affected by what others think of them or 
being understood or being appreciated by those around them. In other words, people who are really determined and really have a focus and are persistent, they don't need the clap of the crowd. While the inner confidence gets challenged and shaken, it never gets destroyed and constantly acts as a source of courage and determination. Having a highly developed sense of who you are allows these people to just keep on going. Highly developed habits are important. That's right. Motivation is what gets you started, but a habit is what keeps you going. Highly persistent people know it is very difficult to stay continually motivated, particularly during difficult times. And when it appears that no progress is being made, they rely upon their self-discipline and developing habits they can count on to continue down the path towards their eventual goals. They believe the results of the efforts they make today may not be seen for a long time, but they strongly believe that those efforts need to get counted towards their outcome at the end. Simply put, it means that persistent people have the right amount of patience to understand it takes time to get to their goal. They don't give up. It's a journey of dead ends. You see, adjustment and adaptation is very important. And persistent people have the ability to adjust and adapt their action plan. I call it bumper pull. You've heard my videos before. People do it stubbornly in the face of evidence that their plan's not even working. But they still look for better ways to increase their chances of success. Sound like me? Highly persistent people see their journey as a series of dead ends, detours and adjustments, but have complete faith that they're still going to reach their final destination. They're not tied into their ego and are quickly willing to admit when something's not working. As well, they're quick to adapt the ideas of others if they've been shown to work well. You know, I've been persistent all my life, but I've learned, I've learned how to be persistent properly. I've got a commitment to lifelong learning. Persistent people realize that any goal worth reaching takes time effort and continuously learning new skills and thinking patterns. People that are persistent like this welcome change and new ideas and continue looking for ways that they can incorporate those things into their lives. Ongoing learning is a critical process. Naturally curious, persistent type people only see learning as a way to reach their goals and self-development. Learning and continual growth don't end at a certain age or stage in life. They're the essence of life itself, and therefore they're never ending. You see, it's also critically important to have a role model, to act as a guide or a mentor when you really want to be persistent. Because while it may appear that persistent people act alone and don't need anyone, most of them have a very carefully curated group of people they admire and emulate and get advice from. These people stand out from their environment and are often misunderstood because they make those around them uncomfortable. Having strongly ingrained models helps persistent people sustain and motivate themselves, especially in an environment that's not supportive. You see, being persistent, being able to push through is a quality that makes you sincere. It puts you at a high level. It allows you to never lose enthusiasm of getting towards your goal. You're always going to be improving your thought process, whether it's a written process, a visual process, you're always going to be determined to be at the forefront of the thought process of whatever you're thinking about. You see, the quality of persistence matters. That's right. You've got to cultivate the quality of persistence to a high level. 
It's not about nagging. It's not about bothering. It's about having self-initiatives and self-discipline and trusting yourself. And you will have the qualities of success because it's important that we all realize that this came from extreme amount of preparation, an extreme amount of planning. And starting today, you can determine for yourself that you have the persistence and other qualities of success that are necessary to be exactly what you want to be. You've got to be willing to expend the effort that is necessary. You can win. You all of us must persevere and not give up. We can no longer blame others for our future success. If we make the commitment that is necessary, we will be able to possess the knowledge that is necessary to achieve true success, whatever that is for us. And it all came from being persistent. Now we can move forward with confidence and the proper mindset to see what's ahead of us. We're in the proper perspective because now we understand that if we have the most difficult situations in our lives, we've just got to recognize what caused them, do our best not to get into those positions again, and we must have the persistence along with the knowledge of how to move forward in real and beneficial ways on a daily basis. Zeal and enthusiasm, not just persistence. This has been the Real Senior Stoner talking about not just persistence, but the ability to actually make it through and to do the things in life that are important to us, that give us value, that are valuable to us, to each and every one of us. It's so critical that we find these things and we keep pushing towards them, no matter how elusive they may seem. Here goes our honey badger dab of the day, everybody. Cheers. Thanks for joining me, everybody. You know what to do. Since I know you all enjoyed today's video, let's get us up to 30,000 subscribers. Have a great day, everybody. And again, thanks for joining me, the real senior stoner. Have a great day out there, everybody. Cheers.